Don't forget to subscribe like this channel okay. Time has been kind to Lincoln's midsize luxury crossover, but that hasn't stopped the company from making wholesale changes to it, as it enters its second generation. It's a massive update, complete with an optional 310 horsepower hybrid powertrain, standard all-wheel drive, and an interior with mega amounts of screen space. The base engine is still a 250 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 with an 8 speed automatic, but the new chassis that it's bolted into delivers more legroom than before for all five passengers. A massive digital display spans the dashboard and can be customized to your liking. That's 48.0 inches of space for navigation, a clock, stereo settings, and a view of the upcoming weather forecast. As significant as the updates are, they won't be transformative enough to unseat top dogs in the segment like the Genesis GV80, Porsche KM, or BMW X5. That's not all bad news when you compare the Nautilus's impressively low starting price and a buffet of standard equipment to those same SUVs. A big step up from last year's Nautilus, Lincoln has given its crossover new duds inside and out as it starts an all-new third generation. The Nautilus rides on a revised version of Ford's C2 platform, which undergirds the Escape, Bronco Sport, and Maverick. The interior and exterior are vastly updated, and the Nautilus offers a new 310 horsepower hybrid powertrain. The V6 is no longer on the menu, and all wheel drive is now standard. The mid range reserve trim bolsters the sweetness of the Nautilus. For not much extra, buyers get access to the Jet Appearance package that adds beautiful dark 22 inch wheels with chrome inserts, paint matching cladding, fenders, and wheel arches, as well as a black painted roof. Under the hood of every Nautilus is a turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four engine. For non-hybrids, that spells 250 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque bolted to an 8-speed automatic transmission. The hybrid's turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-four gets help from a 100 kilowatts electric motor for a total output of 310 horsepower. The hybrid works with a continuously variable transmission. Both powertrains connect to all-wheel drive. The 330 horsepower twin-turbo V6 that was previously available on Nautilus has been dropped. Consider it a sign of the times, as both of the new model's powertrains are sure to offer better fuel economy than the V6. On the performance side of things, it's yet to be determined whether the new Nautilus can match the 5.9 second leap to 60 miles per hour the previous generation managed with the twin-turbo V6. We'll answer that question once we strap our testing gear to the new Nautilus later this year. Neither EPA nor Lincoln has announced fuel economy estimates for the new Nautilus, but given the similarities in output between old and new, we expect the base engine model to remain at around 22 miles per gallon city and 22 miles per gallon highway. For the hybrid, we expect fuel economy to be in the same ballpark as the Ford Escape hybrid, because the Escape uses a larger turbocharged four cylinder, has less horsepower, and is a few hundred pounds lighter, we expect the Nautilus hybrid model's EPA number to be at roughly 37 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. We'll update this space with official numbers when they become available. The level of updates given to the inside of the new five-passenger Nautilus is nothing short of breathtaking. The Lincoln crossover has turned bland into brilliant with a completely redesigned cockpit that offers more leather, larger screens, and ambient lighting. The Nautilus can be optioned with Lincoln Rejuvenate, a spa in a car feature that changes the interior lighting, seat position, screen visuals, and massaging seat settings to help the occupants relax. Three scent cartridges and the center armrest release aromas ranging from patchouli to cashmere to fresh linen. The Nautilus also offers a 28-speaker Revel Ultima 3D audio system and 24-way power-adjustable seats. There's slightly less rear cargo space behind the second row than last year but more legroom for all passengers. Optional equipment packages add aluminum appliques, copper-colored interior stitching, and even a redwood theme, exclusively offered on Nautilus black label trim, that gives off redwood forest vibes. A leather-wrapped, heated steering wheel, 10-way adjustable heated and ventilated seats, and remote keyless entry are all standard. Lincoln boasts that the 48.0-inch display area across the top of the Nautilus dashboard is class-leading, but with the tape measure turned vertically, it's no IMAX theater. Besides the wide screen, there's also a high res 11.1-inch infotainment touchscreen mounted to the center of the dash. The Nautilus comes with wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, while an Alexa built-in can also handle voice commands. 
all Nautilus models come with Lincoln's Co-Pilot 360 suite of driver assistance features as standard. The Nautilus is also available with Lincoln's hands-free highway driver assist technology. For more information about the Nautilus's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Although the Lincoln's powertrain warranty is longer than its rivals, including the Volvo XC90 and the Audi Q8, its bumper-to-bumper policy doesn't push the boundaries of what the rest of the segment offers. Paying for the expensive black label trim adds dealership perks such as four years of complimentary scheduled maintenance, an annual detailing service for the first four years of ownership, and a culinary concierge for restaurant reservations. Thank you for those who have subscribed and like this channel.